Let's divide 1 by 12, and here's how we could do it. We could just call this 1 over 12, just do a fraction like that. That's the same as 1 divided by 12. Or we could divide 1 by 12 and get a decimal. So we could take 1 and see how many times 12 goes into 1. 12 doesn't go into 1, but if we put a 0 and a decimal point here, we could call it 10. Still, 12 doesn't go into 10. Let's put another 0 here. We can call this 100. So 9 times 12 is 108. That's too big. 8 times 12, that's 96. So that works. Subtract, and we get 4. doesn't go into 4. We could call it 40 if we move over 1 here. So 3 times 12, that's 36. Subtract, we get 4. Call it 40. Move over 1. 3 times 12, that's 36. Subtract, we get 4. Call it 40. And you can see what happens. This 3 keeps repeating. So we could say 1 divided by 12, that equals 0 0.083 with that 3 just keeping repeating. That's probably the best way to do it. That's a little more accurate than trying to write 3 many, many times. So 1 divided by 12 equals the fraction 1 12th, or the decimal 0 0.083, and that 3, it repeats. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.